Hello everyone, my name is Marcus. I'm a street photographer and future archaeologist based in Zurich. Welcome to my channel. This channel will be about me and my people and street photography with Leica cameras. I personally own two Leicas, one Leica M6 and this Leica MD here. And the Leica MD is also the camera that I would like to dedicate this first video to. So let's dive into it. I switched to Leica after shooting with Nikon and Fuji for around 10 years. And I was actually pretty happy with these two camera manufacturers and the camera that I used over the years. But then end of 2015 I reached a point where I actually wanted to step up the game. And I was already looking at Leica for a while and just couldn't convince myself to actually buy one. I always told myself, oh my Fuji X100S, which I was shooting with um, at that time, is actually good enough and there is not much difference to a Leica. But still, I was looking um, at YouTube videos, I was looking at reviews, um, checking out their camera models. But then in the beginning of 2016, Leica announced the Leica MD. And let me actually show you the Leica MD. So for those who are not familiar with the Leica MD, it is a Leica M series camera based on the Leica M262. But the main difference between um, the Leicas at the time at 2016 and the MD which then came out is that this camera actually has no back screen. As you can see here, the only thing that you will find on the back side is an ISO dial. And when I saw that and coming from the Fuji X100S, I thought, okay, this is actually the next step. This is what I actually want and probably what I was waiting for for a very, very long time. And now there was this announcement. So I actually pre-ordered this camera and got it the first day. In later videos we will also go a little bit into a couple of technical aspects of this camera and also maybe a couple of tips and tricks that I wish I would have known before I bought the camera or when I was just getting started with the camera. So let's take a closer look at the camera now. So as you've seen in the beginning of the video, on the back side you will find no screens or buttons. The only thing that you will see is the ISO control. On top of the camera you will find the shutter speed control and a shutter release button. And on the lens itself you will have the aperture control and a focus ring. And that is actually everything that this camera offers as features. What the lack of all these features mean for me is that I cannot fully concentrate on the subject and I don't have to look through the viewfinder, take a shot, take a look at the screen, delete, take another shot or 10 shots, take a look again, delete. Um, I really, really just focus on the subject, configure the exposure as I would like to have the exposure set, take the shot and then just continue. I will then later find out on the PC when I download the pictures what the results were, but I can guarantee you that the results are no different probably even better than the photos I took before because now I take them way more consciously and also because of this camera and the steep learning curve I had in the beginning actually I'm now way more confident when taking pictures because I don't have this help at the back of my screen anymore I now have to do everything myself but this really enriched me and also helped me to get to this new level that I was hoping to get to with this camera. With this camera, you're in no megapixel race, nor in who has the best autofocus or the fastest one or the most autofocus points. Now, I understand this camera is also not for everyone and for sure not the best camera for beginners. But what you will find is this pure and raw enjoyment of photography with no distractions, simplicity at its maximum and total connectivity with your subject. With these words, I would like to wrap it up and in the next video, we will be talking about how to successfully take photos with this camera. But before I leave you, I will show you a couple of shots that I took with the camera. The first photo that you will see is the actual first photo I took with the Leica MD right when I walked out of the store.
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.